Yo, what's going on guys? Dr. Groot 7 signing in back with another video. Now I've told you guys that I'll be covering these from time to time. However, I never got back to these videos. I showed you guys how to set up Yuzu emulator on your PC. Showed you guys the settings and all. And uh, one game I covered was Mario Bowser's Fury. And yeah, that was running pretty well. This time, I am going to cover Metroid Prime Remastered. Before we start, there is a little bit of performance issue because I'm also running the recording software. So yeah, that's actually costing me a little bit of performance. Whatever FPS that you guys can see, expect it to increase for you guys by at least 15 to 20 FPS more. So basically what I'm getting 30 FPS, so you're going to get close to a 50 FPS. That's for sure. There is no graphical anomalies or anything of that sort. I played the game a little bit. Except for minor FPS drops when you're moving from one room to another. That's quite common when it comes to emulators. I'm going to talk about the settings in a bit. Let's show you guys the gameplay and talk about some of the stuffs. This slowness that you can see, you're not going to experience that. With the settings that I'll be showing you guys, you're going to get a very seamless performance. This is only happening because like I've said, I'm running two applications at once and my CPU is taking a lot of pressure. There is like two different types of settings. There is a set setting for the game there is a setting for the emulator so we're going to start with the current games configuration so i have removed the speed limit for this game which can be found under general settings the cpu i have kept it to auto the aspect ratio 16 is to 9 resolution i kept it to 720 by 1080 you can increase the resolution a bit more however if it's going to cost you performance then just tone it down to 720 to 1080p window adapting filter i'm going to set it to by linear anti-aliasing method set it to global hit on apply advanced graphics accuracy level normal apply and okay down here if you check here it says docked you can cycle between the settings in between docked and handheld docked is going to increase the graphical crispness handheld is going to make the graphics a bit more rougher around the edges that's going to increase performance cycle between these two based on your performance levels gpu you can increase the gpu's processing power i'm just going to take a video through my camera and show you guys the exact performance that i am getting on the game let's move on to emulator settings do not ask me where to get the game file from because that's piracy if you want a game go buy it you know what i'm saying so under yuzu's configuration which can be found under emulation we're going to start with the generals tab limit speed percent take that cap off multi-core cpu emulation have it checked for some games it doesn't work for some games it does emulation is completely per game based whatever settings that is going to work for this game it might not work for the next one extended memory layout i have checked it let's go into cpu keep the accuracy settings to auto graphics opengl we're going to set the shader backend to glasm because i have nvidia graphic card if you do not have nvidia graphic card stick to glsl emulation gpu video decoding window adapting filter by linear fsr sharpness i've set it to 30 anti-aliasing mode i've set it to none and that's it these are the settings i have showed you guys the game settings all right combine those two and then run the game okay guys so i'm externally recording the gameplay right now through my camera so there you go look at this i'm getting 57 to 58 fps this is what i was talking about since i was using the recording software on my laptop so it was costing me performance. So I'm getting a steady 50 to 60 FPS, over 50 FPS to be more precise. The settings that I have provided you guys with, you're going to get a very good performance. And even look at this, man, the game looks pretty crisp. If I switch it to docked mode here, still I'm getting 50 FPS. So yeah, you're going to get a little bit of stuttering when you're going to move from one area to another. Yeah, that's quite natural. For those who are going to be extra picky, don't use an emulator, my guy. It's not for you. So I'm going to switch it back to handheld mode because that greatly increases the performance. This is going to give you a very good Metroid Prime remastered experience on the Yuzu emulator. I would say it runs almost, almost perfect. perfect. 
I can't do anything about this mild stuttering because you know the shaders they load up the graphics they load up the environment and everything like that it might vary depending on how beefy your pc is like i've said i'm using a two-year-old gaming laptop metroid prime on the yuzu emulator if you enjoyed this tutorial you know what to do drop in a like new users please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more contents like this i'm getting the vr 2 on the playstation 5 so expect a lot of live streams and videos related to vr and uh yeah man i'm gonna see you guys on the next one dr boot 7 signing off peace